Welcome back to Breakfast Television on City TV. Uh, stunning images from the documentary Sharkwater Extinction. The, the, the doc exposes the multi billion dollar industry of shark finning. It is screening tonight as part of the Calgary International Film Festival and also Thursday of next week. Sharkwater Extinction follows Rob Stewart's award winning documentary Sharkwater and his second film, Revolution. Rob died actually during the filming of what you're seeing right now and the film itself is now a project honoring Rob's legacy and Rob's parents, uh, Brian and Sandy Stewart, uh, kind enough to join us this morning. Uh, welcome Brian and welcome Sandy. And um, Thank you. stunning piece, my wife and I watched it on Friday or Monday evening this week. It is incredibly well done. Um, go back to though the first time that you had a chance to see a cut, an early version of what we're looking at now. And that must have been amazing to see Rob's work and dream coming to fruition, but also a bit bittersweet, right? It was. It was so amazing seeing his film because he's larger than life. He's up on the screen. He's yeah. talking. Uh, you know, 80% of this film is exactly what he wanted to produce and shoot, and it's really beautiful footage. I think the viewers would be really happy with it. I, 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 yeah, we had to go through a lot of archive, uh, archival I footage. He shot 400 hours of footage for the movie. So when the accident, after the accident, and we got sort of organized and looked at who, who would step forward, the entire crew all stepped forward and said, we want to continue the film. And then we had volunteers in cinematography from around the world offer their services to help additional shoots. So we had an awful lot of stuff to go through. But I think what happened was we found Nick Hector, and he helped go through all Rob's notes, his computer notes with us. Um, he, Rob did meticulous notes on all the arcs in the movie he was trying to create, all the locations he was shooting, what he was trying to capture. So once we got into the footage, we knew we had something. And I, it was yeah. probably November, December, we saw the first cut, which was really extremely bittersweet because uh, there was our son on screen. And uh, we watched the whole thing, and then we know he's still not coming home. Yeah, and it, uh, it, it shot in 6K as well, and, and uh, we were saying just uh, in the green room before you guys came on set here, you were saying, you know what, Ted, if you liked it on your television, oh. you must see it on the big screen because it's stunning. Yeah. It's, it's really amazing footage, and it's going to play in 4K all across wow. Canada. So it's part of the film festival tonight and Thursday, October 19th, a mega release. Right? Yes. And in North America wide or worldwide? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Canada wide to begin okay, with. Okay, yeah. Uh, U.S. will follow uh, probably late November, the first week of December. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the world. And, and during the credits, there's a neat kind of kind of homage <laughs> to Rob, but from a young guy mm -hmm. all the way up until you know some outtakes and things during yeah. the filming of of uh, Extinction, Shark Run Extinction. When did you guys know that he had the bug for this? Oh, he was very uh, young. Uh, really, the bug for nature was probably when he was two or three. Really? Everywhere he went, all he would do is look for capture things, go frog hunting. <laughs> just, I mean, whatever he was near nature, he spent his entire day in it. And that just never ceased. All through high school and university, he went to Africa, went down to Jamaica on exchange courses. So any chance he had to get in the water, yeah. he took it. Any chance he could capture something and bring it home and show us, he took it. So. And, and I also told you guys both <laughs> before we started the segment here that it, it rekindled my wife and our love affair yeah. of scuba. And you're saying that's what Rob would have wanted, right? More yeah. people under the water to see yeah. how beautiful it is. That was uh, what he wanted to do, is to show people how beautiful the creatures were in the underwater world. Because very few people get a chance to see that. Yeah. And once they fell in love with those creatures, they would work to protect them. Sharkwater extinction screening tonight. Thank you both so much for helping get this project to fruition in Rob's honor, of course. Uh, there's the screening tonight happening at Eau Claire. Um, and make sure you try and get tickets for this. If you don't see it tonight, again, it's screening in 4K. Then next Thursday, Thursday of next week, also another screening as part of the film festival. And uh, Canada-wide release on the 19th. So you can watch it also on the big screen there. Thank you so much. Thank for you for having nice us. Nice to meet you both. And Thank I you think you guys did an amazing job Thank you. honoring Rob's dream and his legacy. I think yeah, it's going to continue. Job. There's more projects coming. All right. Very good. Thank yeah. you, Brian. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you.